We're opening up uh, SPL today, so they sent us a ton of goodies. We're really excited to have them as a partner on the build for the R35. Um, we looked at their parts catalog, and as much as I wanted to be conservative, I picked just about everything. Here we go. You know that this right here forever. No surrender. It's forever. You know. You know this right here forever. No surrender. It's forever. You know. You know this right here forever. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Man, look at this. Look at all these goodies. All right, let's start with the front. So these are going to be just shaped by the box shape. I'm gonna assume that these are the front upper control arms. SPL stickers for the win, right, 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 right. Instructions, we need those. Woo wee, look at that, titanium. Actually, they're aluminum, they're titanium series. But these are the uh, front upper control arms. Um, upgraded FK bearings, plenty of adjustment. All right, so I can do camber and caster individually and the lockouts. These are pretty cool. I love them. All right, again, it's like Christmas around here. Right and left. These prevent the lower control arm from sliding around and make sure that everything stays in place and all of our adjustments happen through here. This is probably a toe arm. Check that out, guys. Solid billet aluminum. Um, again, same thing. Upgraded bearings, fully adjustable. That's a beauty right there. We also got traction arms. This is, that's camber, and this is traction. So the, tra the, the toe arms are gonna give me the adjustability and the traction arms are gonna make sure that those adjustments don't slide and don't change. Um, this is a nice piece because the, the stock suspension could be a little mushy. And again, an R35 is, is, is built and designed as a track car, but it's really a street car, right? People buy it at the dealership and, and drive it to work every day. So the suspension needs to be comfortable enough. This is gonna take some of that mushiness and that comfort out of the car. It's gonna be a little bit louder, it's gonna be a little bit stiffer, and it's gonna be ready for the track. Um, so SPL uh, sent us these traction arms as well. These are uh, a great addition to our rear suspension. Um, we're not going to install these right away. These aren't going on the car today. These are probably going to go on the car when we pull the rear subframe. Um, we're also waiting on um, our coilovers to arrive. And so I'll attack all suspension at the same time. These last ones here look very similar to the traction arms. These are actually my camber arms. And this is what's gonna allow me to dial in the camber. Um, again, we'll, we'll be using uh, all of these parts on the track. They're, they're purpose built for the track, but definitely um, applicable for the street, right? So on the last R35 that I owned, I did have just the camber arms and that was enough for me to make uh, some corrections, right? But because this one's gonna be more of a track piece, we're gonna be using absolutely everything that you see here. Um, definitely check out SPL. We're gonna throw in the comments their IG as well as their website. Feel free to give them a call or give us a call. Um, we're dealers for them anyway, but uh, excited to bring this to you. Thanks guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. Give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, <laughs> that'll be a blooper.